Hello and welcome back to Maths with Mr. Duffield, my ongoing uh, IGCSE paper review series is continuing with this, a pretty complex question actually, a frustum made by removing a small cone from a large cone, so this would, would have been a large cone, but this smaller one has been removed. The cones are mathematically similar, in other words, this larger one is an, is, is an enlargement of what this smaller one's volume would have been. Um, yeah, the volumes are linked by a scale factor of volume. The large cone has base radius R and height H. Given that, the volume of the frustrum divided by the volume of large cone is related by the fraction 98 over 125. Find an expression in terms of H for the height of the frustrum. Okay, so we're talking about volumes and we're asked to find a height. So this is clearly a question about scale factors. We have um, a number representing relatively speaking, the volume of the frustum, and we have a volume representing, relatively speaking, the volume of the large cone. I'm tempted to come up with a similar number for the volume of the um, of the smaller cone up here. What would that be? Um, let's quickly work that out. The volume of the small cone, the invisible one that's been removed from the larger one to make the frustum, um, that's got to be the difference between the large cone volume and the frustum. I hope that makes sense. 125 take away 98. Just check that on my calculator because you know I'm not... Actually, why, why do I need my calculator? I know that that's 27. Excuse me. So 27 is the volume of the small cone. And um, that's interesting because it gives me a, a kind of connection between all of all three of the, of the shapes that I've got. The frustum, the large cone, and this small cone. Um, so I can I can find kind of ratios to do with the small cone and the large. I could say that the volume of the small cone divided by the volume of the large, for instance, would be 27 over 125. Okay, and that would allow me to to compare the volume of the small one with the volume of the large one. But we don't we're not asked for a, a volume in this question. We're asked for a height. Okay, so you could, if this is relating to volumes, then what about um, what about lengths? How would I find the length of small versus the length of the large? Well, if you've been spending any time doing work on on length, area, and volume scale factors, you know that they're linked by squaring and cubing. So if I want to go from the the volume kind of expression, the volume fraction, to a length fraction, I just I just cube root the volume one. Okay? I just cube root the uh, fraction representing volume of small compared with volume of large to find the length of small compared with length of large. All right? So the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 125 is 5. What I have here are some numbers that relate specifically length of small with length of large. Now let's double back up to what we've been asked here. We're asked to find something about the height. So let's apply this proportional thinking here about the length of small divided by the length of large to this height. Okay? So the height of the small I could express with the number three. Okay? And then the, the, the height, the length of the large, the kind of uh, height of the large, would be represented by the number 5. So in other words, um, for every 3 centimetres tall the smaller um, cone is, the larger cone is 5 centimetres tall. Okay, That's the ratio, that's the link, the proportionality between those heights. If that's true, okay then um, obviously the, the missing link here is the, is the height of the frustrum. And that would be, proportionally speaking, 2 within this kind of um, proportionality that we've established here. Okay, so just to summarise, if this is the height of the larger one, we take that to be 5 units high by the calculations that we've done below, and also by the calculations that we've done below, the height of the smaller one is going to be 3 units, or, you know, 
three fifths of h. And then the height of the frustum here has got to be the missing piece between three shares and the total number of five shares, which in this case is two. All right. Hopefully this is this is making some sense. But in essence, the um, height. Let me summarize this. Of the small cone is three fifths of h, and we get that from knowing the height of the large cone is just h, and we can see from the proportionality reasoning that three fifths of the height is the small cone, and from that we can derive that obviously the height of the frustum is the difference between three fifths uh, of h and h, which is just two fifths of h. Two fifths of h is the answer to this question. I, I acknowledge and I accept that this is a, you know, fundamentally tricky, right? Because you've got to piece together um, seemingly just from your own understanding of, of, of scale factors and the particular shapes in this problem, um, the pieces that are necessary to find this fraction relating um, the height of the smaller cone with the height of the, of the larger cone. And unfortunately, it just comes with practice, I'm afraid. You just have to keep on going with these kinds of problems um, until you kind of unlock that level of sort of insight, really. I do hope that that helps you with this particular question. Do have a go with similar ones in case you feel like you, uh, you need to. Two-fifths of H is the uh, solution to this question. I look forward to doing the next one with you. I wish you all the best, and I will talk to you very soon.